Hi everybody, this is DJC. This is another one of my little how-to informational videos. Just kind of sharing some knowledge and hopefully it'll benefit somebody. Uh, today's topic is going to be microphone usage and cupping the mic specifically. There's a lot of people that think that you're supposed to cup the mic. They see various guys on TV cupping the mic. They don't realize how terrible it actually sounds. And this is a video you're probably best to watch with headphones on if you can so you can hear kind of the subtle differences. Because on like a laptop, they're kind of all going to sound about the same. But in reality, there's a pretty big difference. And it's also something that everybody thinks that they have a handle on what it sounds like. But when you're at home, just kind of barely listening to your songs, you hear one thing. But when you're on a large concert PA, it sounds completely different. And with headphones on right now, I can show you pretty much what it's going to sound like on a bigger PA. So you can really notice the differences. So here we go. Okay, here's how we set up the test today. I have a Shure SM58 mic, which is pretty much the de facto standard for mics. If you're going to be on a stage, odds are fairly good you're going to use a 58 for your vocal mic, unless the guy's using something real random, but that is the industry standard for mics. This is a Behringer 502 mixer. It's, once again, nothing special, but it basically just is showing that I'm not adjusting the volume at all. I'm not adjusting the gains i'm not adjusting anything it's just a consistent sound from mic to mic and you'll be able to see the vu lights going up and down to show that there's actually signal going through there that goes into actually my recording interface which is another one of these that's the usb version so it's basically a consistent signal all the way across the boards um, and then you're hearing it through the same mixture you're actually hearing my voice through right now just this is a different mic over to my side but you'll hear it just from that mic and the headphones are just so i can make sure that i'm properly conveying what you're actually hearing. And I've checked it out prior to making this video just to make sure that what I'm telling you is accurate, and it's accurate. So, here we go. This is the first position we're going to try. This is holding the 58 basically just by the base and the top of the XLR. This is about as low down as you can comfortably really hold the mic. Feels good in the hand. Sounds like this. You can see how I'm holding it. Sounds clear, sounds full, gets the point across. Okay, this is the next position. This is cupping the bottom of the mic grill. This is very, very common, especially in like rock singers. Um, everybody wants to kind of choke up on the mic for some reason. And you'll notice that it drops a little bit of the bass out of the voice. It still sounds clear, still sounds relatively fine, but it drops the bass out. So it makes a tonal difference. You can tell from here, to here. And that's all just from cupping the bottom of the mic. Our next hand position is over the top of the grill somewhat. This is about two thirds of the way up on the grill. Got my fingers wrapped. The stripe on the grill is between my two first fingers. And you'll notice this brings in a little bit more bass, but now the treble is kind of getting rolled off. So it gets a little bit, a little bit flatter, a little more muffled. If you're real close to the mic, it basically eats all the treble and just has tons of bass because the bass has nowhere to go so it pushes the mic even harder you'll notice a lot more just like breath noise and things from this because it just has nowhere else to go but into your hand and into the mic and the last one I have to start in a different position so I can show you kind of what it sounds like it's not uncommon at all for somebody to hold right around the bottom of the ball and cup the top of the mic, actually putting your fingers over the top of the mic. This is way too common, and I'll show you what it sounds like. This is you trying to get your point across to a crowd. A, they just hear your hand half the time, but B, it muffles all the highs, gets rid of everything. So it just makes you sound very, very flat and just kind of useless. It, it takes all the power out of the voice, basically just makes you muffled. So no matter how good the sound is in the system, because you're hearing it directly out of your headphones right now, directly from the mic to your headphones, no matter how good the sound is in the system, you're going to be super, super flat and nobody's really going to have a clue what you're saying. You see a lot of people that they'll try and talk into the side of the mic like this and things and it, it just is terrible. So when it comes down to it, basically just get a mic, try it out, see what sounds best to you. But for the most part, always just hold it around the body of the mic. The main actual stem of the mic is what you want to be holding. You don't want to touch the grill at all. 
the more you touch the grill, the more it basically contributes to various audio anomalies, makes your voice sound weird, and also contributes very heavily to feedback. The further your hand goes up around the ball, the more feedback you're going to get. and There's just nothing they can do about it. Uh, the way the mic's designed, it's not meant to have fingers over the ball at all. So if you can keep them off it, that's the best way to go. So basically, I hope this is helpful for you and gave you a little bit of an idea of how to better use a mic and how to get really quality recordings across and quality production. It's really not that hard. It just takes some something that gets practice. Don't do it like you see in the videos. Do it like it actually sounds good. You'll be much more successful in what you're doing. It's This is the proper way to do it. So like I said, just hold the body, body of the mic, keep it up to your mouth. That's the best way to go. Anything else, and you're going to be sacrificing the quality of your performance and probably sacrificing your audience. So think about that next time you go up to perform and good luck on stage.